Here's another question the guy had. Uh, do you recall Jesus verbally acknowledging his ancestors were spirit guides if he had any outside of God? No. And I'm, I'm saying that bluntly and clearly. Jeshua believed that, that anybody, including anybody who came before and God, were all one and the same. He believed that was all we were all one. And so to actually acknowledge his ancestors or spirit guides would be to deny his own oneness with God, his own divinity, his own perfection. And when I say that, I don't mean he thought he was perfect and nobody else was. He thought everything was perfect and everyone was perfect. But the idea of this is that that acknowledging ancestors and spirit guides would be to let me put it this way in a, in a Bruce Lee movie he's teaching a young man kung fu and he talks about you know don't focus on the stars or you'll miss all the heavenly glory don't focus on a star when you're, you're missing everything else if you don't focus on an individuality or, or an ancestor or a spirit guide because then you're missing the point that you are one with all of the wonder of God and so to, no, I never heard him talk about spirit guides or ancestors, and I think it's uh, something that he that would be that he would probably consider over you know overthought, or that's definitely how I would think about it, um, because it is come it is the simplicity of you and God are one, and ancestors, spirit guides, all those things, they're all mixed into the mix of the one, but the whole point of your divinity is you and God are one. Ye are gods. So that's my thought on that. You guys have a great day, and I'll talk to you soon. See ya. Bye. Thank you, my friends, for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please make sure that you've subscribed and you like it, you share it, but also comment below it. Let's get this community talking about these topics and, and spreading this information out far and wide so that we can change the world for the better. Thank you.